Have you noticed that when you like a post or watch it for too long, it suddenly turbocharges LinkedIn into personalizing more such stuff to you? But the question is, how does it do that? How does the algorithm find the sweet spot of parameters that work just for you? Well, that's what LinkedIn shared in one of the Netflix platform meetups. A big shout out to Kinjal and the team from LinkedIn for sharing this info. Now before we start, there are a few terms you need to be aware of. Every time you post an article or upload your video, it triggers a series of background tasks. The content swims through stages such as meta enrichment where your data is converted to a vector, the genre, the quality of English or any language etc and these features are identified given some scores and fast forward redirected to a pool of content. There are algorithms which control the pool and many other parameters based on your preferences at a user level. This is called personalization which means tuning according to your preferences. It is driven by your session history. Now what is this session? A session is nothing but when you use the platform actively till you go into the snooze mode or put the mobile aside, right? It could be a 30 second or a 10 minute session. But the definition sometimes varies based on platform to another platform. Okay. Coming back to the problem definition. What we want to do is maximize the chances of clicks in the session by adjusting the tabs or weightages of each pool which creates it. So in the actual algorithms there are many other constraints but we will keep it simple for this time. Given a user click engagement in the previous session, the objective is to find the weightage of pools or secret user specific algorithm parameters to create a new session that maximizes the click probability. Okay, So if you click more then you should find similar sessions in the future. The major challenge with such situation is that there are too many parameters, right? More than 15, 16 parameters, that's to say the least, right? And via classical ML algorithms like um, Exeboost, Catboost or any other algorithms, right? It would be very time taking. It would require a lot of data to converge, right? So it's hard to figure it out in a few combinations and personalize and keep them for each and every person uh, or a group of individuals, right? So that is where the bandit algorithm shine. And that's where we will use Gaussian processes with Thomson sampling. Now, even though the mathematics is very complicated, I'll try to simplify as much as possible. Think of X and Y position as the parameters of the algorithm that needs to be tuned for a specific user, right? So that's what will be figured out in general after each session, right? And the reward means hitting the gold mine. In our case, it would be that if you receive a lot of clicks by user in that session, right? That means you did something good with the algorithm parameters. So we need to hit the mine, but with minimum drilling because each wrong exploration leads to a regret of $1 million. This regret is what we need to minimize. Now each observation is a new session, a user head, where x axis is the algorithm parameters and the y axis could be the number of clicks. right? or the reward that you would roughly model. It could be the number of clicks or it could be a boolean. Depends on how the platform is modeling it. The purple region represents the mean and the width of the thickness of that purple region represents the standard deviation on both the sides. Okay. Now we want to maximize the reward. So we pick a point where we have the highest mean plus standard deviation. This is a new function altogether, right? And is called acquisition function. What this ensures 
is not just that we get maximum reward but we also explored the unexplored territories right so because when you have a high variance or the standard deviation it means that we are uncertain about those algorithm parameters right so it's a good way to ensure a way to dig next which algorithm to show you for the next session in general so in essence the data from the sessions of previous hour is used to arrive to the optimal parameters for the new session right uh, via gaussian process regression and this is with greedy thompson sampling this reestimation per user is done hourly so that you don't see a lot of changes in the platform right so you need to have consistency of user experience in general right one other thing that's left is some more insights about the thompson sampling so it's again based on conjugate priors and the theory of how the posterior can again be the base for the next likelihood and then the posterior so how does it go in circles right how does the posterior uh, or the actual observations which we saw becomes the basis for the next uh, set of uh, estimations so we'll go into it in some other time so again this blog and the video which the linkedin presented right so i wanted to share the reference here please uh, go through this for more details but i hope that you learned something new with less jargons and more intuition from this video and see you next time and don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from crazy muse